Hello. Welcome back, my German friends. I missed you. It's been 24 hours. Top 10 facts about Germany. I don't... Honestly, I don't know what to think of this video. I haven't watched it yet, of course, but... Top 10 facts about Germany? That's just... Uh, there's, some, there's something funny about that title. Top 10 facts, like... That's not very specific. Top 10 facts about Germany. Top 10 according to who? You? All right, let's watch. See, I can already tell by this this music. This is gonna be fun. Hey, and welcome to 10 Facts About Germany. Number one, Germans uh -huh. love their bread. Who knew? In fact, there are more than 300 different kinds of bread in Germany. I love my freaking bread too, though. Oh my God, 300 different kinds. There is even a bread. You could almost eat a different bread every day of the year. Bread museum. A bread museum. Do you get to eat it though? Because no, I'm not going to the bread museum unless you can eat it. What's the point of going? I'm just gonna be angry. Number two. Germans are the third largest beer consumers in the world. After the- I believe that. Uh, the Czech Republic's number one? Okay, I was gonna say Ireland. Are we doing it like per capita or total? I'm trying to guess here. I'm just gonna say next one is Ireland, per capita. But if it's not per capita, then uh, I don't know. I guess next one would be United States or um, China. Do they drink beer in China? Czech Republic in Austria. Austria? This must be per capita. In Bavaria, beer is all- Ooh, you guys know I love the pretzels. Also considered a food. Number three. What did he just say? Bavaria, beer is also considered a food. Considered a food, okay. I guess if you, if, if, if that floats your boat, if you want to call it a food. Instead Number a three. Adidas was formed. Uh, it's Adidas, sir. By the Bavarian. Don't worry, guys. I got Bavarian you. Adolf Dazzler. His brother, Rudolf Dazzler, formed Puma. Huh. That was a top 10 fact about Germany right there. Top 10 all time. Top 10 things of all time that has ever happened with Germany. This dude made Adidas. This dude made Puma. Brother, Rudolf Dazzler, formed Puma. Right. Number four. The German Autobahn is the densest highway system in the world and is also the only in Europe without general speed limits. It's the densest, meaning it's like got the most cars on it. It's kind of scary. The densest, like most cars per mile and it's got no speed limit. God, that's freaky. Wait, how can it be the densest? Number five. If it was if it was that dense, it, there would just be traffic all day, right? Because there's some highways and stuff in, well, I don't know. I guess not interstate highways in the U.S. Whatever. The German Johann von Gutenberg invented the first printing press. So it was you guys who invented the printing press. Wow. Good job. That was kind of a big deal. I don't know if you guys heard, but the printing press was kind of a big deal. <laughs> I didn't know it was this German dude. That's pretty cool. The first printed book was the Lutheran Bible. I knew that. Number six. German is the official language of five countries. Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. Huh. Why did I not know Luxembourg spoke German? It is also spoken in Northern Italy and the French provinces of Alsace and Lorraine. By the way, in my last video, you guys were telling me, some people were saying my pronunciation is getting a lot better. I don't know if I believe you as far as German, but thank you. Thank you. That, I, was, uh, I was kind of proud. Number seven. The Cologne Cathedral took 632 years to build. It's over. I think it's over. I'm guessing they took a break in there for a couple centuries. <laughs> the Cologne Cathedral took 600. I mean, that is a badass, awesome building. But if something's taken you six centuries to build, I think someone took a nap at some point because. Uh, 
What the heck? That is a cool building. 132. And it looks like there's rafters up. Are they still building it? Have they finished it yet? Two years to build. It's over 150 meters long and more than 85 meters wide. It can hold 40,000 wow. people. Holy crap, that is beautiful. People. How many people? Hold 40,000 people. Maybe it did take 600 years straight. Number eight. Germany is the seventh biggest country in Europe, but with one of the biggest populations. 80.7 million. Uh, what's the fact? What, why did he say but? But is the seventh biggest country in Europe, but with one of the biggest populations. Well, what do you mean one of the biggest? Like the seventh biggest? I don't get what the fact is here. What do you mean? Like it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty big and it's got a pretty big population. Am I missing something? 80.7 million. That, I mean, Germany is bigger than I thought. Before I started doing these videos, there's more people that live there than I knew. I thought it was 50 million. It's 80 million. Okay. Number nine. Like, I thought that before I started this channel. Fanta originated in Germany as a result of difficulties importing Coca-Cola syrup into Nazi Germany during World War II. Fanta. Fanta's not bad. You guys still drink that here in the States? It's kind of, it's somewhat popular, Fanta. No, but it tastes nothing like Coca-Cola, so that's kind of bizarre. Couldn't get the Coca-Cola syrup, so they made an orange drink. Okay. Number 10. Tastes good. Berlin, the capital of the- I love this. This is up there with the horses. It's just beautiful. I can't get enough of it. Fifth largest city in Europe by population, but is eight times bigger than Paris and has more bridges than Venice. More bridges than Venice. Okay. Paris and has more br Man. It is absolutely stunning. Bridges than Venice. What is this building? That was your top 10 facts about- Hey, there you go. Top 10 fact, number one fact ever in German's history is that it's got more bridges than Venice. <laughs> or Berlin does. <laughs> I'm kind of making fun, but that was a fun video. You know, I just think it's funny. Top 10 facts about Germany ever. They love bread. <laughs> that was a really fun video. I hope you guys had fun watching with me. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see. I mean, I'm going to be here tomorrow watching some more stuff about Germany. So if you want to watch with me, subscribe. Either way, thank you for being here. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I bid you farewell. Goodbye.